Okay. Yep. In attendance, we have Arden Staff, Barb Russman, Heather Manda, Jason Wheeler, Wendy Johnson, Nicole Lewis, Jack King, Township Representative, and Cindy Stevens on the um, recording. Um, huh? I said Stevens on, so it sounded like I said Stevenson. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> no guests tonight. Meeting called to order at 6.30, no public comments. Agenda items, uh, October meeting minutes submitted for board approval. Motion? Motion. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Financial status update, Jack? Um, I wasn't at the uh, October meeting. Um, and I'm not... Oh, I'm not sure if uh, anybody did have a recap of um, We were uh, under what, our, what we normally get, uh, or normally bring in. Um, we did about 3,000 uh, at the concession stand. Granted, Sunday was, uh, I mean, it, it was it, it was polar opposite of what Saturday was. Saturday was just a great day, and I think everybody did really well. Um, but we have spent a lot of money this year. And uh, we've really got to look hard at what we're spending money on for next year. The supervisors, you know, are clear on their expectations, and it is uh, at least break even. And uh, we uh, we're over budget right now. And um, you know, if you want to go into details, we can. Uh, but right now, we just uh, we need to plan a little bit better for next year. So. Um, you know, is it disastrous? No, um, but it's a little disappointing. So, um, but granted, everything is more expensive. I get that. We've tried some things. You know, we spent uh, some areas that we haven't spent in other uh, other years. Uh, I think that's a good thing. Um, but you know, overall, I think uh, we got to um, just take a look. Take a harder look at things for for next year uh, and on what we're spending. So. Were we over budget just for fall festival or just the year in general? Well, what I was doing was as the events. See, we, there's a there's a uh, pool of money, and um, you know previous board members they wanted uh, me j just to say here's your money, spend it as you see fit. The problem is we spend a lot of money from. Uh, March through August, and then fall festival comes around, and, and you know, of course, we all want to make that the, as, as successful as possible. Um, I was moving any money that we didn't spend uh, that was budgeted for the other events. I just kept moving it forward, um, and it. I, I think the disappointment really came in from the concession stand. And I did, I, I want to qualify that. Sunday was, it was not the best of days. You know, there just weren't that many people uh, coming through like they, they normally do. Um, but, you know, I've got to look at what we're doing in the concession stand. You know, I raised the prices this year. Uh, we, we could raise them again, you know, for next year. I think we're um, very reasonable at the concession stand. You know, when some of these, Food trucks are charging sixteen dollars for a hamburger. You know we're we're at five, and um, I you know I, I think we do well on, on that end. It may be in part because maybe Billy Ann came in and do, did some more events where we're not getting. I mean, primarily the concession stand is the only place that we actually make money. You know, we're taking the application fees and we're plowing that back into um, making the the fall festival the best it can be. Uh, but really, the fall festival is the only time that we really can make any any amount of money, you know. So, um, and I, I'm not faulting, you know, the, the 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 theory behind it because I think it's a good theory. We, uh, uh, Wendy was saying today how other uh, uh, places are copying us, you know, the kids zone, the you know the everything for the kids are free, you know, and the sponsorship money is coming in and, and that type of thing. And yeah, Range gave us more money than ever before. We didn't get as much from uh, uh, Gateway as we normally do, but you know we're appreciative of what, of what they did give us. Um, some uh, companies, entities didn't uh, participate this year while, while new ones came on board. So um, 
overall, I think, you know, it, it was it was a successful year. It was just kind of that one day kind of made a difference. You know, where we did 3,000, uh, well, we did about 2,700 on Saturday. Uh, and when it was all said and done, it was about 3,100, I think, uh, for the entire weekend. So, um, so only $400 on Sunday? And yeah, Sunday day? was bad. Yeah. Is it really that bad? Yeah. yeah. It, 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 no fault, no fault to uh, yeah. anybody here. You know, it was just, it was that threat of the, uh, the rain. It was the churches, you know, the church people just didn't come maybe because of the threat of rain. I don't know. You know? Steeler game. The Steeler um, game was at one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, that does hurt. Yeah, because yeah, last year it wasn't that way. Last year, yeah. they, last year they had a bye week, didn't they? They had yeah. a bye week. And um, we didn't have a problem, but we had phenomenal weather too. So, yeah. you know, maybe maybe those two two factors. We had a great Saturday, and I, I think that's what people have talked about the most is is how good that Saturday really was. So, do you think having that many food trucks hurt us? Yes, Jack I and I so. talked about that. I think so, and um, and you know we're we're going to tighten that up too, uh, as far as uh, the overlap. We had entirely too many lemonade anything. Yeah. Um, too many barbecues. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, but you had two different types of barbecues, yeah. and and th that you know that's what everybody wanted to qualify. One actually did the barbecue, the smoking, and the whole you know, uh, while others brought it in, and it, so yeah, there was some overlap. Mm -hmm. The one was a last minute back, because the pizza guy pulled out the Monday before, <laughs> and um, you know, uh, yeah, I pu I put the guy in there, and and he. You know, we're, he will not be back. So, um, I think we all agree on that. So, uh, it was, I think, more of a desire to make it the best it could be. And um, you know, when at that last minute, it, uh, I don't know. You know, you make the decisions that that need to be made, and you think about it after the fact. So, um, yeah, maybe too many food trucks. Um, maybe a little bit of overlap. I think the picnic tables out there were fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think that helped them out tremendously. Billy Ann did really well. Um, actually, uh, um, little girl with the lemonade stand that, that does everything for charity, she did exceptionally well. Uh, Isabella. And that's what, what's that? Isabella. Isabella, yeah. And that's why I put her next to, uh, uh, to Billy Ann's because, you know, people like to, to um, buy, get their food and their drink and, and, you know, go sit down. Because before it was, we were the only ones selling uh, drinks. And everybody else, they'd have to come to us. And a lot of times, I was walking all the way across the, the ball field. So um, I think the, the picnic tables really helped out quite a bit. I think the, um, the scheme in the outfield uh, worked for everybody. I didn't have any complaints there. I did have complaints on the other end, which will change for next year. Uh, we're going to start the booths uh, right at the edge of Pavilion 1. We're not going to start it down at the end. We're going to start it on uh, the park side or the ballpark side of Pavilion One, and that, and we're going to go that way. We're going to limit them to 135. Um, we had a lot of success with the kids zone. Uh, a lot of people wanted to be over there. A lot of people were over there. Um, you know, we're going to uh, make sure that Behringer's checks their bounce houses before they bring us bounce houses with bees in them. And um, it turns out to be one of uh, former uh, board members. Granddaughter was the one that uh, got oh, stung. Really? Never been stung before in her life. She got stung uh, twice in the same place on the same day. So, um, but you know, uh, South Point, Southbridge uh, took care of that. Um, overall, I, I've heard nothing but good things. Uh, I know. Uh, yeah, we had w one or two complaints. You know, one one uh, can't you can't be all things to all people. That's leadership one on one. Um, you know. No matter what we would have done for this lady, she uh, was not going to be satisfied. Uh, Jason stepped up, offered to move her four separate times, but she waited until almost the end of Saturday to complain and demand her money back. And you know, at that point, after he had offered four times to move her, you know, enough's enough, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's it's fine. You know, it, it like I said, you can't please everybody. Um, overall, I think. Uh, you know, we, music worked well. Um, I think the uh, other the animal entertainment. Show. What's that? The animal show. Oh, yeah. Big hit. Oh, yeah. They were fantastic. You know, fantastic. And that's the thing. That's why I'm saying, all right, we're going to back off the, the 160. 
We're going to open that stage up more uh, so that we can get a more uh, bleachers in there, yeah. uh, more room in there for that type of thing. Because I'd really like to see them come back. Yeah. Um, and, and something else. Now, if we if we juggle that where we have a band setting up, like the one I, I sent you a link uh, this past week about, if they're setting up now, they need an hour to set up. I said, you kidding me? Mm-hmm. Now, th- these are the uh, Delaney's. They've opened for you know they've been around for years since the 90s actually, and um, they're regulars at the Rivers Club. And um, I looked at their schedule, and I tell you what, I'd love to go see them with anybody that, that you know wants to take some time. Um, and check them out. They, they play all types of music. And one of the things they told me was they look to see what the, the makeup of the crowd is. Uh, so if it's predominantly uh, men, they're going to play music from kind of their era. You know, if it's 90s, if it's uh, the 2000s or something like that. Maybe it's, maybe it's predominantly uh, female or if, if it's kids, they'll adjust whatever music they're playing to whatever the crowd is. And that says a lot. It's not like they have 35 uh, songs that they play and that's it, you know, and you're going to like it or not. But they will adjust to whatever the crowd is. And that, that says a lot about a seasoned band like that. So um, that's a possibility. I, you know, put that out there for your consideration. Um, and, you know, maybe we can find some, some newer, uh, newer bands, uh, bands we haven't seen, seen yet. I, you know, I'd, I'd like to keep upgrading the music if possible. Um, and then the acts uh, alongside of it. So that worked. The stage worked. Uh, I thought Gary did a great job, as he always does. Uh, we didn't have the feedback that we were getting. I mean, last year, that, that microphone, I tell you what, I put it up here, it starts biting me back. You know, it was, um, my own voice was hurting me up on that stage. And um, I think Cindy uh, Fisher found out the same thing. Anybody that picked up that microphone last time uh, got a flavor of that. So. Um, I think we got the, he, he's got a new soundboard, new equipment, um, and I thought this year worked out uh, really well. Um, yeah. Is there any plans maybe in the future to pipe the music through the speakers? Yeah. Because I know that's why even talking to Gary, he's like, I lie, I'm like, Gary, you got to bring it. He's like, I'm because he's trying to pump yeah. it through the park, and I get that. Way too long. Yeah. Um, yeah. Here's and, the- and it's not just like the next or other, whatever band it is. He's trying to get it through the park, so he jacks it up. Yeah. And the people right there are like, and they're getting blown out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they fixed it Sunday. It was a lot better. Yeah. Well, yeah. He, then he, I don't he, think you could hear it. The children's the You couldn't hear it. Yeah. Right. I mean, if he was able to get it piped into the speakers, like in the ball field or something, yeah, they would at least push it that. out some, you know? Yeah. Gary and I started on that trek um, a year ago in March. And, you know, while we have those big blow punk type speakers in the, uh, the concession stand right now, those are the, the original ones. The question is, where would they go? You know, would we put them out there? Now, there are speakers on the um, light post. That's in what I'm talking about. Yeah. The ballpark. The problem is, you, you take that plate off the bottom, and there's no wires there. It's like, well, how did you know? What are they up there for? Nobody seems to know. Do they work at all? No. No. There's no connection. There's no. Oh, really? There's no wiring to it. It's not like it's Wi-Fi because it's way too. Yeah. Was that from like the ball kids playing baseball, like they were announcing or something? That was the announcer, yeah. A long time ago, Jeff Massarelli? Well, back in the day, and I'm going to age yeah. myself here. Back in the day, that was the Pony League field. All right. My midget league, little league field was where the concession stand is now. So what we had is we had the, the outfields were basically blending together. You know, they did have um, the outfield. Uh, fence for the Pony League because Pony League was huge when I was a kid. Um, and uh, Little League, I mean, we, we cycled through. There were basically five teams. And we played, you know, in Muse. We played down in uh, uh, elementary school. We played uh, here uh, and a couple other places. And, and there were just basically five teams in Cecil. Um, and then there was the Pony League. And every, everything seemed to go Pony League. And that's the, the ball field that's still there. Um, and you know, in the big scheme of things, they got the speakers, they got the nice stands, they got the dugouts. We never had any of that. You know, there was a there was a, a crooked bench uh, under an elm tree. You know, and that's what that's was uh, that was our our side. And then the the visitors sat in the sun on the other side. And, and but um, that was a long time ago. Um, nobody seems to know what where those speakers came from, what their uh, 
connected to. There's no connection. There's a little plate that you undo the screws, and, and it's like, okay, well, you think you reach up in there, and I mean, there's a bunch of wasp nests in there, you know, and that's it. Uh, so well, Gary and I have been, been around that. We said, okay, maybe, maybe we can do Pardon? Wi-Fi and put the speakers up on, say, um, you know, the, the bathroom uh, uh, roof uh, partway through. You know, we've, we've looked at a few things, and we're still looking at it, but um, to run wire through there, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I mean, like, even like, for like, even for my house, I put outdoor speakers in, right? So it has to have at least one has to have power. And then there's a master and a slave wire. Yeah. And it just, you know, it toggles off that one and it feeds the power and everything to that other speaker. Um, but I paid for those things, 300 bucks. Oh, okay. And they sound phenomenal. Well, I'm led to believe to get that amount of wire uh, to, say, put speakers in the outfield so that people out there could hear it, you know, and even come down, it, it, it would be a heck of a lot more money than that. And, but the, I mean, you can make your own wire to jump it. Uh -huh. It's cheap. You buy a reel of it and just cut it and splice it. And literally, it could be bare wire. It just sticks in. It closes on it. That's it. Can we can we sit down and just talk about that? Because I, mean, yeah. I have one one person's opinion. I, I, I'd like to get more more opinions because yeah, sound is an issue. It definitely is. And and I don't think we can handle that loudness. I don't know if Gary hears it sometimes. Um, well, Sunday I went over. I'm like Gary. I'm like today. Bring it he's like, I know, I know. So, and it, we, we was talking. He's like, yeah, I'm trying to push it. I'm like, I know you are. Yeah. But you're blowing the people's ears out yeah. front. But we're, just so you know, we're, we're, we're looking at it. We're, we're, we're trying to come up with a, um, an effective way to do that. Um, and even if it's put speakers on, on the other side of the stream, you know, it, you know and it, we even talked about that. But that's still, you have Wi-Fi or you have cable. And um, I just... You got to be careful running cable down the walkway. Uh, even when Billy Ann's wanted to run that extension cord. Yeah, off. chip hazards and stuff. Yeah, you can't. You just can't. So we we hung it, you know, from uh, from the roof, you know, and, and that 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 seemed to work. So. I mean, unless you just trench some conduit, maybe a little bit, right? That's a possibility. Just get yeah. one of those little scissor things, that's right underground, and then just use it for the festival. Gary, Gary used had something similar to that, which you could roll over with a car or something like that. He spent like eight hundred dollars on just those couple pieces. Um, yeah, so. I mean, you just put a piece of conduit in the ground, just leave the wires there, and just have it for the you know for the festival. Plug it up, and that 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 means that you're going to be more static with with. I mean, that's it's going to be what it is. Period. And I don't have a problem with that. Um, but if they're going to do it, they should do the speakers on the on the light posts as well. You know, and and light posts would be ideal if we could hang speakers from those light posts. And, and point them to the playground, then I think we'd, we'd be, be halfway there for the most part. So those are- those It would push further for up higher, yeah. 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 But, you know, there's a cost to every, every, everything and the labor involved too, so. Yeah. Those are all the things that we're, we're talking about where there's nothing you know, definite. Well, is the person Barb mentioned still around? Would he know something about how- yeah. No, he passed away. Okay. Well, Jeff, okay. remember Jeff Messerelli? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I remember him from died of a heart attack pretty young yeah. in February. When did that happen? 10 years ago yeah he used to run the wrestling yeah he, he was yeah. big in the high school yeah right? my son wrestled for him and uh i don't remember his There's wife like a foundation for him still now too. you see her around and she had ms he was he played for what wvu yeah. i think he had high blood pressure hmm. okay um so is that everything on the festival? We won't definitely won't have a magician back, so that's out. On yeah. The um, I, how much did we pay for him? It was a hygiene issue. Well, Big that too. Yeah. 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 Not to be like that, but. I mean, I picked him up in the in the parking lot and drove him over there in that park. All right, and yeah, there was. Yeah. I mean, he. You know, you know like Nicole said, not trying to be that person or be rude, but he's a professional. When you come to mm -hmm. do an event, yeah. you, you you expect them to have a certain type of appearance, right? And call in a crowd. Yeah, and just yeah, he just wandered around like he was like looking for change. Yeah, like he didn't belong. And he would just come over and like could be some kid there. He just start like not even like interact parent. with them really. Yeah, I'd be freaked out like if I was a yeah. Yeah, it's. Family. I mean, I don't know what we spent for. I forgot what the heck we spent for him, but. 
whatever it was, it was too much. Did we give him that feedback or anything? Not yet, but we will be because okay. also the character. What are you going to tell artists, him? We want the one from Here's Sunday, the one from Saturday. <laughs> the woman. Yeah, I talked to Jack too. We're we're really going to try to spread kid zone from one end to the other, yeah. and separate the bounce houses, and then we can give like the um, character artist the. Uh, they need their own person, spaces. Give them their own space. Yes. In the other Especially for rain. We need to yeah. prepare for the rain. Yeah. People so, didn't realize it was for. free. I think they yeah. thought they had to pay or something. Like they you're were afraid to four. do something. Stretch it all the yeah. way down there? Three. Um, if we can. Or three, yeah. Three, I'm sorry. The, the, problem, the, the danger with, with Pavilion 4 is they could be stranded out there. You know, if somebody is not walking through that parking lot and going, you know, walking right. down the path and just using the, the, the middle bridge, they may not venture down there. Right. So, so signs do, would be important too. What's that? Signs. Yeah, yeah, and and that, you know I dropped the ball on the signs this year. I mean I, there were just so many. You know the police department asked for a bunch, and it's like okay, and you know, and yeah. So I did. I dropped the ball on that uh, as far as the signs are concerned. But as it fills up over there, we've got to push them, push them down, and get people used to walking down there. Because you know if it cuts off here, they're not going to say, oh, there's something down here. Let's walk down. Here. They'll just stop there and, and turn around. You know, it, it, we've, we've got to have a draw over there, you know, somehow to get them over there. And that's why I wanted the bounce houses in that section or the uh, petting zoo over there. That, right. Right in front of Pavilion 3. That's the ideal for the petting zoo. The petting zoo needs to go mm -hmm. down there, I think. The they just, riding, perfect. They, 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 they were adamant they weren't going to cross that. Yeah, bridge. because we had like food and horse manure next to each other. Um, and that yeah, was a that complaint was that I got from yeah. people. Like, because you're trying to buy a pie, but you smelled horse manure. Mm -hmm. So we definitely need to not do food in that area. Um, yeah. but it would be nice to get that on the other side, I agree. One of the things that happened there is with Pavilion 1, I divided it up in three ways. Yeah. Three of the, the uh, booths that, that I had in there said they didn't want to be in there because they couldn't put their tent up. I said, well, why do you need a tent if right. you already have a roof over your head? Well, we got to hang stuff up and we got to do, and right. it's, it's the same, same ones. You know, it's the same group that every year it's something. Well, we want to move over here. Right. You know, okay, move over there, you know? And, you know, I, you know, I, I got the feedback, you know, that it, it appeared to be um, disorganized. Well, you know. We're volunteers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, it, that, that's on me. But oh. the thing about it is, while I'm eager to please, you know, those people that come in, at some point we've got to say absolutely not. Right. And if you don't like it. We need to have boundaries, I think, with well, our vendors. And we sure. have to impose them now. And yeah. we are going to look this and, year, too. When you sign I think up, as they book, we place them. And yeah. that's your spot in, you know. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, like maybe like two weeks prior to the event, two or three weeks prior, they get an email. Here's your spot your number. Spot. Well, we've been trying that every year. And that's yeah. a good point. But here, here, this is traditionally what happens. I know. They come. I don't want that spot. I know. Yeah. But they'll wait till two weeks before to see what the weather's going to be right. like. And they then they want to out. rush in and say, oh, I want to be a part of it. And uh, this year, we had already cut them off. Right. You know, we said, sorry, we're full. Yeah. We'll put you on a wait list. And it wasn't until the pizza guy, the Monday before the event that pizza canceled, guy. that we actually started hitting on that, that wait list. You know, and it's like, well... You know, can I fit some more in? Yeah, that's when I came up with the with the horseshoe. If they had filled Pavilion One, it would have worked. It would have. Yep. Yeah. But the problem is they didn't. We just even, have to be stern. Even uh, Generations was supposed to be in that first section, but somebody else took it and bumped them out of the way. Yeah, it yeah. was it was a ripple effect. I was placing yeah. them too. I had the same thing. Well, can we go over here and there? And yeah. then we're just like, you know, well, what? Brittany, yeah. Mr. Paul, she loved it there. She's she like. She's like, for me, for what I got, this is perfect. Yep. She loved it. She made a killing. Yep. Um, and then the lady next to her, the nice lady, who sells like the um, pumpkin Apple. rolls and stuff. Oh, the pumpkin rolls. She yeah. Was nice. nice lady. Yeah. Uh, she was right next to her. And for her, she had power. She was perfect. Yeah, yeah um, we did make a lot of people happy, though. I somebody complained, that. though, with food about being close to the animals. And yeah. I heard like yeah, some... People yeah, came was, yeah, like, yeah, Heritage Kitchen wasn't happy with their yeah. placements uh, from the beginning. Well, you know what? And Heritage Kitchen came in. Yeah. That that was a friend of one of our public works uh, guys. Yeah. And and I talked to her before. I said, this is what's going to happen. This is where you're going. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. She was so – she didn't even go to McSummerfest, all right? I don't think they invited her for one thing. But she wasn't at McSummerfest. And she came here and said, I haven't done anything. You know, I really want to be – I said, well, this is, this is what I'm going to have. That was fine with her. Yeah. And then 
you know. I think that other lady was in her ear that was next to her. Oh, I know. I think she just had that whole experience, and it was probably just like, you know what, maybe I feel that way too. Like, and she was. She association. Was in, she was know? in several people's ears. Right, And right. I think we we dealt with that effectively. Right, yeah. But I, um, I, I do think we made a lot of people happy. I Some people mentioned, like, having some options. Like, a lot of the vendors and people setting up were, like, hungry. They, like, asked, like, if we did have the concession stand open or if, like, maybe we could – sell pizza by the slice or something next year that might be like an opportunity to bring some money in i don't know how effective it would be but people were thirsty and hungry when they were setting up i do think that would be an option jack yeah even like she said even as just go down to john's get yeah, oh you mean a slice and pop you just know, have some yeah, pizzas Friday, Friday, you know, and we can bar, tell the warmer bag off the of them in you, advance so you're ta- hold on one second. You're talking about Friday night. Friday. Set up. Yeah. A lot of the vendors and everybody's like, we're thirsty. We're hungry. Okay. Like, do you have anything? <laughs> Back in the day when this, this thing actually started on Fridays, you know, um, it was a three day, it was a three day event back then. Uh, and I, I'm kind of glad that we don't do a three day event only because, you know, we don't have a health department in Washington County. They're under the department of agriculture and they come out of Harrisburg, but the actual inspector lives close here. And he said, he goes, two day events, we don't, you know, we don't, we probably would have half the food trucks we have here if they imposed the, the strict standards. Right. Um, but I, it's a great idea. And yeah. I think Gianni's, because you're going to talk about, yeah. who's going to talk about the QR code or the uh, Q, QR code? Okay. Well, you're just going to um, use it now. Somebody's, somebody's going to talk about that tonight. Um, that, we're quickly forging a, a really nice partnership with them. Mm-hmm. And I think we could we could make that happen right. easily with that yeah. warmer down there. We'll pre-announce you know. it, like pre-plan for it. We could even have them pre-order if they want, like here's a, what's their package. Like yeah. if you want pizza, place your order, we'll have it ready for you. That would be ideal. That way we know. How we would know how much to get. I mean, like they do pre-order. delivery. You could actually have someone there. At well, the they do. Uh, no, they do, some like they to do, do some yeah. like they don't. They yeah. use the slice Depends out. if they have a driver or not. They just yeah. hired. Somebody I know as, as a delivery guy. Now, for me, like, Mike will actually drive it to my house, even if there's nobody there. But like the Slice app when I order from them. They're oh. on there. But, yeah, that might be an idea. Overall, I thought it, I, you know, I thought it was one of the best ones we've ever, you know, had. And I appreciate everybody showing up uh, this past Monday. Um, it, you know, <laughs> there was a lot of moving parts this past Monday, as many of you know. <laughs> um, so, it... Uh, it was good to be recognized the way you should have been uh, a month earlier, um, but people are still talking about it. Um, it by far was the best one ever, and you know I appreciate everybody's effort. And it, it, it takes a lot. I mean, I you know I, I looked at uh, uh, Heather, I looked at Wendy, I, you know I looked at everybody at one point and saw the same uh, exhaustion in your faces. All right, and and it's true. That's. It takes every bit of energy you have and then some. Um, so what we we need to we need to scale it back a little bit. All right. Um, I think if we cap it at 135 uh, booths and if you know 20 people don't show up, it's okay. Um, you know, I think we got the outfield pretty well laid out. We know what works. It's worked two years in a row now. Um, if we adjust this side of things uh, on by Pavilion One and and beyond, then we won't have the angst and the, you know, uh, the anger that uh, was generated by one, primarily one person, but um, it seemed to catch fire with uh, two or three others. Um, other than that, I, you know, there's not a complaint uh, to be lodged on, on anything that happened in the I place. mean, I, I know me personally, the only one I got was really the lady I tried to talk off the cliff, right? So yeah. Yeah. That, that was, and like, I, I don't know if you guys talk about the same one, but it was like, her and her neighbors, right? Yeah. And then they started conspiring. And then Ohio, okay, she went up to everybody. They're not even yeah. local. And that's what I kind of don't like this, like, we're traveling state lines to come here type deal. Like, and that lady is kind of what made me think that. I'm like, why is she driving all the way up here? This is a local community festival. You know, I don't know if we need to think about, like, if you are that far away, like, are you permitted? You know, that was pretty. She's like, I came all the way from Ohio. Well, that's not my problem. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, not, like. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> some of these, you know, really do. This is what they do. This is their right. livelihood once yeah. a year for the local community. That's how they make their money, and they handpick what festivals they do best at. Right. Like yeah. that's what I do. Right. So. You know that. Yeah. The only other one. You're a carny. One other thing that I want to. Go you're ahead. a carny. Go ahead. Oh, I was, I was, 
Vic of Funningham. The only other thing I want to mention to you, there was some uh, complaining about the commercialization of uh, mm -hmm. a craft festival, you know, where um, more and more of these, uh, not multi-level marketing, but um, more commercialized products, they're not handmade like they used to. Yeah. And I think maybe um, we, what they used to do in the old days is, old days when, you know, back in the early 2000s, um, mm -hmm. they used to sit down as a board and go through those applications and hand pick the ones that were gonna come in. Granted, a lot smaller. They, did, did, they didn't do half of what we do. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we don't want to, this steamroller to, to get going so fast <clears throat> that we miss the, the purpose of this. You know, and, and it's more craft oriented. Um, granted, it's uh, no more than two doing uh, similar work, uh, that type of thing. And, that, and that's really. I Even that's, that's a, hard to monitor. We have yeah. to like, we have to hit all backgrounds. We have to yeah. be inclusive. Thing of it is, so with the, the invention thing. of 3D printers and stuff now too, people were taking shortcuts on their crafting. Like we were at the oh, um, been for years. thing at the fairgrounds, oh. and I swear, fifty percent of the people there were doing tumblers Crickets. with yeah, the with covers on, yeah. covers on them. Yeah. You know? I mean, and it's right. like the, the issue with that is, like you said, Jack, it's not two thousand anymore. Yeah. yeah, you know, right. people crafting anymore isn't my grandmother sitting there exactly. making the woodwork, which they put their you know, needlepoint crafting a blanket. That's we have young families in housing plans that are in Cecil Township, and we have to meet I mean, all the I, dynamics. We have the kid area. We yeah. still need to hit the old school crafts. That's a mark. Maybe we need to do better at getting some of those back in. Yeah. Maybe we missed the mark on that. Yeah. The trouble is finding them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if they don't apply. Then they, we can't bring them in. Exactly. Yeah. I, I talked to some people at some festivals. I went to the Covered Bridge in um, Mary, Mariana, PA. Yeah. Oh, that was such a good festival. You didn't think to pick up business cards, did I you? did. I followed them on Facebook. I gave them my info. I got some people, and, um, like, I got a hair tinsel girl. But you know what? I think I'm going to be doing hair tinsel, and we could sell it. I bought a kit of, like, 300 <laughs> hair tinsels. We could do a dollar a kit. Did you want to practice on me? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm Plunge. practicing it on my friends next weekend on my girls' trip. But why do we need to hire someone for hair tinsel? I'm just going to do it. But anyway, I got people, like, they do um, belt bags, and you make your own hats, trucker hats, like, very, like, kid-oriented things. So I got some people, but I've just been going to festivals and seeing what they have. Yeah, get their business card, though, too, I, I wasn't getting helpful. anything at Washington when I went there at the Meadowlands. It was everything we've done, yeah. you know? I mean, yeah. all the cards that we get, like, Wendy does a, a lot of the different ones and brings back cards, and we reach out to them. That You know I mean? Yeah. It's hard to see all the ones that, you know, they, they submit pictures and everything, but... Yeah. And we drill handmade, homemade, every and one of them. And I just try to, like, like, follow them on Facebook because then I could, like, see what they're into, what they're doing, what their booth looks like. Like, and I think at the fairgrounds, I only picked up two cards because that's yeah. all. Yeah, everything right. was just repetitive. It was. Or vendors we already constantly have yeah. anyway, you know, the same. But I only picked up two cards. I'm going to go to the Bridgeville um, Festival here in November. They okay. have a bunch of, those are local people. And then I'm going to try to hit that vintage market out in Oakdale. I've always wanted to go. So those are some festivals in November that I'm going to. I There's one in Peters this weekend. Oh, the high school. Yeah, I have the one I'm, in one. Peters on my thing. I don't know if I'm going to make it or not, though. The high school. Um, yeah, it's a high school. Just one last thing. You know, supervisors like what the board is doing. Um, they like the um, the uniqueness of uh, the fall festival, the uh, diversity that it, it brings in. Um, but we got to focus on. Um, trying to break even on, on some things. So we've got to get a little more creative. Uh, if it's additional things that, you know, I know there were, back in the day, they sold sweatshirts and I granted, we tried that. Um, it, they, they didn't go over well, you know, that was a year we tried beer as well. And that just wasn't a good idea. Um, so I think we can rule out beer. Um, and actually the Delaney's asked, you know, the guy from the Delaney's asked, and I said, there's no beer here. He goes, really? I'm like, yeah. I said, if that's a if that's a game changer for you, I I understand. I said, but we're not we're not going to go down that road uh, because it opens up a whole uh, you know other issue. And um, you know what? We don't have to. Yeah, the we're people are here. Family. We don't have to. Best number one town to raise a family. It's us or whatever yeah. we are. Yeah, and we need to we need to upgrade that. We need to to renew that. You know, and, and two things: um, pop machines in the park. Where. Can we get money, any money off of that? And I think I want to, I'm all about doing a session stand for like all events next year. I would like a snow cone machine 
where I'm like in the market for one, forget Kona Ice, we can sell the snow cones because <laughs> the football people do that and they sell them like a dollar. There's like no money in it. Like it's just syrup and ice. I think the fact that we got $25 from Kona Ice for movie night tells us that they made two fifty. Correct. So you're right. Even if even if we bought our own something for the concession stand, even if we bought popsicles, popsicles, good humor, we would have made our money back. And right. that's We were concerned about that because we, we had to try sure. it. And we're trying things, yeah. like Jack said, we did this but year. I think that things. proved it would work. Yeah, but like I'm in the market of like upping what we could offer yeah. at those events. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll look into that. I'll look into uh, the standalone. Uh, I. What is it flavored ice or what? Yeah. Yeah. machine? I have it for like 150 bucks on Amazon. It makes 48. I'll also look to see if anybody's <laughs> closing, you know, and they have those machines for Right. Sale. Could we rent one like a rental? You know, person slushy, even? the slushy company is right off of uh, maybe road. Yeah, to get like oh yeah. Check uh old Frank Lamal. Oh, Frost Ferry. Did they close already? In November. They're, they're kicking everybody out of there. Yeah. Really? My friend well, yes, well my friend Billy had a lemonade stand, she sells the Free dry candy up there, yeah. so she rents that space, old Sobrero, just just for the. In, um, she needed a industrial kitchen per yeah. code, but the new per new lady who owns that mall now is just. Wow. So, Pops and Rory's, they're gone oh, out of there. Fairies done in November. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I that was a bait, but oh, really? yes, but um, I think there's people upper that have those ice snow cone machines. Um, yeah. Actually, I'll ask Billy. She might even know him. He might be getting rid of one. Yeah, right. Kids would love that. Yeah, because the pretzel place left there. Th they're all gone. Yeah. Any, yeah, it, they've been gone for a year now. Yeah, they've been gone for quite a while. Yeah. Yep. And are we ever allowed to do a fundraiser, like a bingo for Parks and Rec? Are you allowed? <laughs> <laughs> if you want money, we're going to get some. Family <laughs> <Damn, like>, always, huh? <laughs> We can also do a go eat, uh, go get your um, dinner tonight. Oh, at Chick -fil -A and house. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right, let's go. Chicken. Me and Wendy, yeah, back you're right. Cindy, Cindy makes a good point. That's a lot of work. And, I oh, mean, I love bingo. But that's the thing. <laughs> we got Cecil 3 that does their bingo. You mm -hmm. know, they do family bingo and that type of thing. That's sacred territory down there. You know, and I just don't want to, I don't want to step on their toes. So if there, it could be something else. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know, I know some people that, um, have the uh, like the they call them one arm bandits those uh, uh, gambling machines you know oh. Bridgeville did that yeah you know th that's well that's what Darlene's company does so, like, doesn't that, isn't that what they do I, I she gambling yeah, I, yeah. I, I, she does fundraisers for with that stuff yeah um, yeah I'm just thinking like a fundraiser for Parks and Rec with what we could do like this and right here. Well, and I think it's a good idea. Is we just have to kind of think what it know, is. Yeah. One of, one of the things they used to do is they used to do a coupon book. Right mm -hmm. now, I was at one of the Chamber of Commerce events, and there's there's a lady that that's what she does, and she could do it for all of Cecil Township. But it's you know, she goes to the various places and asks for sponsorships. Then she puts together the map of Cecil Township, and I mean that's something I'd have to ask the board if they would. First, I go through Dawn to see right. if he thinks it's a good idea, and then if he thinks it's a good idea, I take it to the board and see if they think it's a good idea. Um, and then she has all these stands that she'll just put these maps uh, all over Washington County, you know, for, for Cecil Township. And um, I mean, that's an idea there. And then uh, she makes money off the advertising, and then there's so much that goes back to us for, you know, for the sponsors. Yeah, like partnerships like that. Like yeah. we get somebody money, but we need percentages of things. It's yeah. like the mindset. That's what I said to her too. You know, Chick Fil A. You can have a, you know, go CJ's to does that. get dinner at Chick Fil A tonight and mention Cecil Parks, and we get a. Percentage. Yeah, are we allowed to do that stuff? They all do that stuff. I don't see why not. I mean, I don't. I mean, I'll pursue it. I'll see what. what yeah. We can yeah. Get us our limitations. Yeah. Like Applebee's does it. Chick Fil A. I have Texas a whole list of all and does DJs it. does yeah. it too. And I know the DJ's guy. Chipotle, um, Chipotle does they it, do yeah. it. Hmm. Yeah. Well, Texas uh, Roadhouse does it. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about uh, Gianni's uh, QR code concept? Or, um, Amy had said that uh, she was under the impression that we had like a glass box that we could like advertise in. And she wanted to, she goes, oh, in your box that you have by the basketball court. So I was like, we don't have, um, she wanted to put up with their barcode that anybody playing basketball or tennis could scan it 
get their menu and order and come down and pick it up. But I was telling her a little bit about the map idea, you know what I mean? And I said, you'd stop by and talk to her a little bit more about it. But they're open. They want to try to get out there and, you know, they're, anything they can do to, you know, keep up and, you know, they, they do everything for us and they're open to it. So any ideas to try to market? He was saying, like, maybe that when we do, like, flyers and stuff, we could put their barcode, but then we got to, you know, Billy Ann, we don't want to, you know what I mean? Upset her. I don't know how we could do it, but. Well, the thing of it is, ones they're delivering on their pizza, why <clears> not? You know, if they're yeah. going to make, you know, yeah. that's not taken away from Billy Ann. Yeah, but I mean, they would, they would give us some of that too for, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, oh, while you're asking, can I do 50 50s at the Fishing Derby <laughs> and Fall Festival? <laughs> She's all about money. 50 50 what? 50 50, like tickets. Okay. At the Fishing Derby and the Fall Festival, I thought were appropriate. Is anybody versed in 50 50? I yeah. get it I mean, tons I of times them. for wrestling, for like baseball, okay. football. Mm -hmm. So you, you know start to finish how, how to make that work, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You just 5%. need a gigantic roll, and you have to let people know when you're drawing it. And yeah. you have to have a, somebody go around and hit people them, up. For us. I never heard of it. Well, yeah, we wouldn't. Yeah. 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 So, That's the thing. It's fall festival. You're talking about other. Yeah, events. she's talking. Yeah. Other oh, events. yeah. I did mention fall festival. Yeah. Where did is the money that we got from the? She set that, that up. I think it was thirty, thirty five hundred. Yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. And that's where we went last year. We were like on the same target. Yeah. Yeah. It was a, yeah. a little bit more this year. But okay. It, it would have been a lot better again. I'm talking again, like I want Sunday people like good. walking around with those tickets. You know, like get, we need to yeah. like get people. I get that, but again, you know. Their own Teresa, I mean, they've been doing that for years. That yeah. people don't want to step on their toes. Right? No. We don't touch that Chinese auction. We don't touch that. That Now, if you want to do it some other event, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. Okay. Yeah. The yeah, thing with doing it at the Fall Festival is people come for an hour or two. Right. And, you know, you selling tickets all day, then when would you be drawing? And I don't they think it's like appropriate at movie night. No. Yeah. So I was thinking more fishing derby. You have the dads. <clears throat> yeah, fishing derby. To do a 50 50 community day, day. Yeah. community and community day. day oh definitely community day yeah, yeah. touch i mean touch a truck touch i would probably truck. say now oh, touch a truck yeah. yeah you think heck yeah oh yeah <laughs> the people love 50 50 right. oh i know that but and you, you know I, I need a sign to wear and i'll walk around the bucket see that helicopter is going to be in the, in the outfield then yeah i could say yeah because that that's an attraction can they do a jump for jesus like saint simon and jude remember that they like we had that one year how do we do that <clears throat> CCMA Church, mm. and that was they, that's mean, they, cool. They sponsored that whole thing. Uh, and, jump for Jesus. Yeah, down and you put your money on the field, like you put your sticker, and if they grab it, you win. <laughs> it's so fun, and like it brings a crowd. That's you guys like don't know about jump for Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it gonna poop? <laughs> yeah, they do a cow patty one. No, that's cow patty bingo. <laughs> I'll bring my sheep down. <laughs> but no, oh, yeah, you buy a, a, a sheep, you put it on the field, and then when the parachuter comes down. If they grab it, you're the winner. Well, we should, let's, let's do it over in friends' yard. Like, we're not getting, we're not getting much. <laughs> no, not the cows, just the paper. The other thing is, like, like for uh, Cannesburg, old fashioned, another ones I've been to too. Um, every vendor has to donate something to be in a, in a thing. You know what I mean? Like, I have to yeah. like next Tuesday. Eight o'clock at night, all the vendors have to that are going to be in old fashioned have to drop off their thing at one location in Cannonsburg, and then they do like a big thing like that. But if we had 135 vendors, everybody donating something, that would be too overwhelming. We could make a lot of money that way, though. If yeah, we well, did, so like, you have to pay for a booth and donate what? No, when, whenever you uh, like a vendor. Oh, what you're rents, selling? Yeah, you 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 have to have something like last year. Usually for old fashioned, they have like high school kids come around and they pick up your donation. Uh -huh. And then they take them all that night, and then they're they're raffled off. Prizes with, uh, and yeah, stuff. yeah, but yeah. it's People like free product to, to, rap, to raffle yeah. off. You'd have 135. But hit. once again, let's back up again. Yeah, here. I, I just <clears throat> Teresa and Carol have done this yeah. for us for years. We're not going to. We have to be careful because we care about them and what they do for us. I had talked to Jack, and I, he and I discussed this because you did bring that idea up, and yeah. it's a great one maybe doing something like that, but with the vendors that are uh, Color Street, um, you know, targeting the promotion, the actual business vendors that are um, pop yeah, consultants. those ones, and asking them to donate a basket versus 135 different vendors. 
because we can't overwhelm them. Yeah. So, okay. So, I think there's a bunch of good ideas here. I think we need definitely need to look at them all for sure, because I mean the whole environment of raising funds is changing out there. Every um, fire department, everybody, they're all doing tickets with all the gift cards and the, you know, yeah, that is all that kind of stuff. I mean the the environment of it is changing. There's no question about that. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree. There, there's no bad ideas. I mean, keep them coming. Coming as far as you know, which one? I think if we choose one and perfect it, right. that, that'll be fantastic. It's just which one do you want to do? You know? Well, give me my limitations on the whole gambling situation, right. and then we'll reconvene. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that's you know, where we're, we're allowed to do. start. Right. No, what's start the, there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll have it through shortly. All right. Okay. Uh, Jack and Arden actually put the lights up on the concession stand yesterday. That's wow, all that got all done. Them. Wow. Good job. Thank yeah. you. That's wow. all that got Gee. done. That's all so, we got done. It was such a nice day. It oh, was. Yeah. yeah. My fingers weren't hurting. Right. It wasn't, like, it wasn't cold. No. We definitely need to do it. What, well, the weather's, you know. Yeah. It was just timing, and he was a busy, and then yeah. had, it was. Uh -huh. Yeah. Had shorts on, t shirt. You know, we had put the lights on. We have enough slips? Huh? I'll do like a I bag took them all last year, put them in a bag, put them in, in when they went out in the weather. Yeah. The year before we got they get them brittle. out there, they just snapped like a leaf. So um, is there time, Any uh, when are people available that we could get the rest done? Well, let's check the weather. I don't even put my own lights up, so I'm out. I just had a guy come today to my house. And even <laughs> even if you could come down maybe for uh, what what it took about an hour and fifteen yeah, minutes. Yeah, for one yeah, it's a good session. You could do one and, and and be done. It's just if we can knock them out, you know, one at a time, it, it'll it'll. It was work. time consuming because last year there was no bushes behind the concession. Yeah. Now it's filled with briar bushes. Oh no! So he had to take work calls, and I'm back there, and I'm going, and I'm cra those things are all over the place. They're on my clothes. They were I'm scratching oh, yeah. all night, but um, that's what took extra long. So it wouldn't even have taken an hour to do it all. But what's the weather, Jason? Uh, all depends what week you want. I can do this Friday. Can anybody else do Friday, the 15th? Tomorrow? Oh, next week. Next week. Next week. Yeah, that's fine. I'll be out of town. Imagine that. Girl's trip up in Cherry Tree, PA. Do you ever hear of Cherry Tree? Mm -hmm. Outside of Indiana. College. Yeah, we're headed up. We're going. No, I, sh I should be available the 15th. The weather will be decent. What day is it? Week from Friday, week from tomorrow. You're off Monday, aren't you? I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. So am I. Okay. Um, fifteenth. I mean, it's. You want to do it Monday? I mean, nobody's doing anything. I'll come down. I can't do Monday. I'm off Thursday. I can't offer Thursday. The bins are down there. If you want, if you want to text me, I'll, I'll come down Monday for a while. What's okay. What's Monday? What? What? Is that a holiday? I mean, because honestly, a Friday for me is tough for me to step away. Yeah. And then by the time I can, it's gonna be dark. So, I mean, I can actually feel my sister's nerves by 10 o'clock, so I have to pay you guys very much. So, you talking, <laughs> what, is that 11 10? 11 11 is Monday, 11, Veterans 10. Day. I have to work a veterans event, but I could come later, like four. Oh, I, well, I mean, if we, if the, you know, if we can piece some of it as people are available, yeah. you know, it's going to be easier than on everybody that, you know, and I, I, I have my. Canceled doctor's appointment remade for Monday, but it's Monday morning. I'm available after that, so so I'm right. good on Monday. I just want somebody to hold the ladder. Yep. Okay. If it's hard on the ladder, I want yep. somebody holding it. Yep. If I'm on the ladder, you know, whoever, it just has to be one other person there. Yep. You yep. Know? And, I mean, I gotta, we, we did it for you specially the other day. Yeah. I'm I mean, good next Thursday if you don't get it done. Work. I'm off the only all day. Scary, okay, you know, the that works. I can bring the kids the down. Part, you know I mean? That works. Really, otherwise, I'm fine. Right? There's only two steps up to get reach it. But, um, I had Lily that day. I mean, if we do it, I can come for a couple hours, like right after lunch before. When? Uh, that day you're saying? Monday. 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 The 11th? Yeah. Well, whenever you, when anybody has an hour, they can come down. Just let me know. I'll just, I'll meet you over there. And we'll, we'll you guys tell me what time to be here Monday, and I'll be here to I mean, hold I can ladders. Do, I can do Saturday. I can't do Sundays. I could do a Saturday if somebody wanted to. Let me know when you're coming. I'd rather get them up sooner than later because yep. it's yep. going to get colder, then it really sucks. Yep. I agree. Oh, yeah. Um, I agree. And we don't have to plug them in. Now, you got to decide when you want to plug them in, too. 
right? Mm -hmm. They were out there for one thing, but it's just a matter of you know plugging them in and leaving them. Last year we turned them on right after Simply Christmas. Right. That Sunday night. Okay. You want to do it at the same time? Yeah. Yeah, that worked. You know what I mean? We just walked over from here. Remember me and you yeah, plugging. Have we got enough bulbs to uh, <laughs> to maybe repair that tree this year? Or has it gotten too big to even do it? No. We, 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 we stuck the strands on last year. I was about six inches short of plugging <laughs> it in. And I'm like, like Charlie Brown, I'm tugging on it. And it, and it, it, it let go. And I'm like, okay, we got it. I wish I could have put it on YouTube. And then, <laughs> funny it, then I snagged again, so I had to tug some more. And then when I plugged it in, the strand going up to the tree died. Yeah. But th thank God... The rest of the tree worked. He had his, it was muddy. He I'm like, his, Arden, let's go. We're out. He had his Hey Dude shoes on, and they were getting all muddy, and he was freaking out, and he's tugging on the thing, and Jock was over his truck. <laughs> it was like Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> I think there's one strand down there we, we still have not used, so we're just okay. out. So there's a backup. Yeah. All right. Well, like I said, you guys let me know what time Monday. We'll see what we get done Monday. In. Yeah. I'll talk to you Monday. Okay. Let me know what works best for you. I think my doctor's I'm up at six in the morning. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Something else. Yeah. Even if we just do an I, hour. I was, I was up at four. But if we did maybe like four, would that be okay? It's or dark is that too late? Five. So. As What's long that? as two people are available, four is fine. Okay. Four. On Monday? Yeah. Okay. After four, it's so. dark at five. Yeah. The ladder's there, and the lights are there, and the cliffs are there. So, you know, you, you guys have accommodation to get in. I mean, it's, I don't have to be here unless you want me to. Everything's balanced, so. Okay. I just just to make sure somebody's holding that ladder. You know, I just, I mean, I climb it up here, you yeah. know, um, but down there, it's, I don't know. Well, I, I just wanted everybody to be safe. Okay. All right, uh, Trail of Treats recap. I think Trail of Treats went really well. Once yeah. again, a lot of great compliments. I think the two hours was fine. Mm -hmm. Great. The half hour increments on scheduling, I think that worked out. Um, all I heard was good comments, and um, anybody have anything else? I loved it. It was perfect. perfect yeah, I mean, no, yeah, I mean, I think the flow was fine. It was great. There was nobody stacked up. I mean, it's it was just a constant little stream. I did get some complaints. Darlene was um, backing up the kids. Like, she was excited, so yeah. she was having them pick. But she there was, like, really, a big line. So she gets I, really into it. Maybe we could put her in a different spot thinking about that so we could have room for the kids to line up. Who was backing it? Darlene. Uh, well, like they all get excited. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. she had, like, ten different buckets, and they all <laughs> got to pick one from yeah. each bucket, like. But yeah, and then, and then, like, it was, like, a lot of people were like, oh, it took us a long time to get through yeah. that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, I was next to her. Yeah, she really <laughs> likes that event. She does. Um, the only the only issue I think that really came up is when people were leaving, um, people driving out. Uh, you know, I think I think it worked with uh, letting the cars come in and stay, um, but I, we've got to come up with a way to get them out of there safely because you know people were driving driving down the walkway. I mean, five minutes to four, people were driving the walkway and oh, yeah. people were still trying to walk uh, through there and. Yeah. Um, Same with whenever they're coming in. Right. You yeah. Know. yeah. Coming in was, coming in is, was scary. All right. Yeah. And we dealt with one one issue, and you know it it was isolated incident, but um, you know it, it was one of our supervisors that was coming in, did not see this kid running, and no. um, oh. you know it, it it scared us all. You know, so uh, we've got to come up come up with something. We uh, maybe open the gates at ten. And then have it set up by so whatever time. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking if we open it at 10 mm -hmm. and they're in place by 1030. Correct. Yeah, they have to be in place at 1030. That way we're not having people at 10 to 11 just driving yeah. in. And if they're not in place, you put them on the other side of the bridge. So you could walk over there and set up over there. And they could just walk their stuff in so that they don't need a vehicle. Yeah, because I'm still not comfortable with people driving, driving in the park to begin with. Right. But coming in from the other end and trying to get around the backstop. I, that just, I'm just not going to yeah. put anybody because that's that's liability waiting to happen there. Yeah. If you if you don't negotiate that turn, you know, I mean, um, Bob Mikulski drives that dually around there, you know, but he he can, I mean, he's he knows how to drive. Oh, I mean, they just like walk in like oh, from our side. They just go like they just walk into the other side as oh, the people okay. are exiting. Okay. So if they're, they're like, oh, we're late, well, park your car. You could set up on the other side, yeah. like. Not like driving at all at, <laughs> after 10:30. Mandatory setup by 10:30. Yeah. Yeah, if it's going to start at 11. Mm -hmm. Okay. I agree. 
Okay, do we want to send out Christmas cards this year? Last year we spent $254 on 100 cards. We sent them to sponsors, supervisors, and supporters. Nicole um, said she gets hers cheaper. She actually does go to a kiosk. I, no, I, I ordered them online on Walmart. Oh, you ordered them on, on oh, Black online Friday. At Walmart. We could also go virtual if we have emails. We could. I could get the card. Yeah. Like I'm gonna make it and then crop it. It'll yeah, be send great. the e-cards. <laughs> yeah, the postage send, now is. Yeah. We could what, go seventy e cards if, if we want to do a virtual. We could post it on our Facebook and then we could do our email list. If we have the email list from Fall Festival or something like yeah. that, we could do a mass email blast. Well, like I said, right now we only do that group. You know, because mm -hmm. you know like, they put them up. I mean, mm -hmm. you go I'd into the have business mine from last and they year put on my desk. Up. Yeah. Walgreens but, um, has like because I get about forty cards. I swear for twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. But that's not I, no. There's no question. Shelly I gave you the price. It was seventy three yeah. for a hundred. I got at Walmart, and that's a card stock. And then you'd but be then postage that's seventy dollars for postage for a hundred cards. For so sure. that's the only problem. So I'm fine with whatever. Do we you guys hand deliver to local people? Seriously? Yeah, we could do that. I mean, if there's like people that you're concerned that you know really appreciate them. We could do well, it's like Billy Ann. Right. Know. We could do Yeah, I would say the ones that we're really local. close to and probably like your bigger donors. Yeah. Yeah. And the you know, I mean, I would drive one to Centermark if you needed me to. Correct. Like, I mean, whatever you need. Anyway. But like, I mean, just your, to everybody. Yeah. I would, I would do the email blast. We'll still have one and we could someone still them. You can dress up as Santa Claus and deliver them all. We can do that. So everybody's good with that. Then we'll do an e-card to all of our contacts, mm -hmm. our our vendors and everything um, yeah. as far as the fall festival, but then figure out who we actually want to hand deliver Local. to, which I think our sponsors, sponsors we should. Yeah, Correct. Sure. Definitely. Sure. And even so. if we get some stamps for a few few of them, do you know what I mean? Like, let's maybe just be mindful of. Do we have the money? Like, are we? Okay. Well, an e-blast won't cost us anything either. Right. And I would say hand delivered cards, we'd probably be what, 20 or less? Mm -hmm. I think it's, important to uh, send those out um, even if there was you know donations for that you know I, I think I'm not going to worry about uh, you know cost of cards I think they're important mm -hmm. I think some of those big uh, sponsors that we've had that, that have been with us um, they're a little bit older and they respect the card Correct. itself right mm -hmm. the email. oh yeah yeah um, Hang them but up. but I think the e card for everybody else is a great idea. Yeah. Right, we we might be able to touch more people if we yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like your bigger donors and so forth, like that, they but get I the agree. physical card. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All right. Okay. So we'll I'll get that list of who. Yeah. I'll, let's look at what we need, yeah. and then I could if you want to send me the pictures, I could get a draft going of the pictures that you used already. That's what I was meant to ask you. Do you actually? I didn't know if you could actually take the one I put together or if you needed the individual pictures to put Give me the individual it. and I'll put it okay. onto a new format. I tried to send Walmart. you the file, but together they were too much, so I'm going to have to break them up or else give it to you on a flash drive. So. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Just even if you text them, that's fine too, because I'll just save them to my roll. Okay. So we're all good with that then. Yep. All right. Simply Christmas. Um, we're going to, we had talked about doing more, but. Um, Due to um, some, like, I found out I can't be here, for one. Um, we know Nicole isn't going to be here. Arden, he's going to have a rough night um, Friday and Saturday night. So I'll still be here, though. I'll come. So, but, so we weren't going to expand it a whole lot. We're going to have the craft where um, they can then hang their ornament on the tree. Uh, we do have to order some more ornaments depending on how we decide to have things signed up. So Heather had brought up today, Heather, did you just send that to me and Nicole or did yeah. you want to review? Heather had an idea to maybe um, still have a nice little event, but um, scale it back a little bit because Cecil is doing breakfast that morning with Santa. In the Velvet Terraces. And well, the same, morning, same morning, same time. And isn't there something too at the Cecil the school, Intermediate School? school I mean, something. at the yeah, they're doing. So Heather had yeah. an idea on maybe just scaling ours back. So you want to go ahead, Heather? I thought last year weren't they kind of funny about us using this room? We couldn't. Um, last year, I think what uh, they had to bring the tables in. They were kind of particular about us cleaning this place up when we were done. So I thought we just had the kids come in through generations. I think you rented that for. Uh, we can do the crafts. We thought about if we want to bake a cookie or a hot chocolate, then they can come back to the hallway, have Santa sitting by the tree, 
they can put the ornament on the tree, they can visit Santa, we can give them their candy cane and, and out the door they go. So we'll start over there, all the mess will be over there, they come in here. If you thought the half hour time frames worked well with um, trail of treats, we can even do that. You know, we can schedule them 10 to 10.30, 10.30 to 11, 11 to 11.30 or earlier, whatever time we wanna do. But I thought keeping them out of this room that would eliminate the movie, but I think the movie was more background noise. I don't think kids actually just sat and watched the movie. I think they, in between doing their crafts or seeing Santa, they peeked yeah, at it. Maybe it a couple enough. kids. Yeah, it wasn't a whole it lot, wasn't I don't think. No. It was nice to have going. So you piped in music last time, so we can have music going in both things. Let's say the kids can just kind of come in, do the back hallway, and go back out. So you're thinking about making Santa Claus the center of this, of this mm -hmm. event? Yeah, and have him <laughs> sitting by the tree up there. <laughs> Because he's the man. Just when I thought I was out. <laughs> <laughs> My kids might be watching. Oh, oh they ain't watching this. <laughs> and also, Kata volunteered oh, to right, right. I think too, yeah, do you said photographs. photographs. Yeah, so she could be out here. And do but pictures. she can only do it if it's a big room. Mm -hmm. So she actually, I, if you were in that room, she couldn't do it because of her lens. But she said if it's Yeah, she, a, she said, I, I did a home session with her. She had to like have lighting. She was concerned about that too. So she, if so it's a bigger area, there, I mean, yeah. she could do yeah. it. Do you have a backdrop for Santa? Like, last what year we did. We, we you did had yes, Santa, you got a backdrop? We, we did that balloon arch. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, should we order just like a backdrop? Like of a Santa scene or like a Christmas scene. Yeah, the Santa. balloon draw, um, the balloon arch we did last year, and he sat like Which right. Was, in front had of allergic that. reaction yeah, to the balloon. No, that was, that we had to make those the night before. Hold yeah. on, yeah. If, oh, yeah. if anybody needs a balloon arch, I got like eight moms in my neighborhood. That's all they do. Then they recycle them for everybody's event. They have parties every week. They're freaking balloon <laughs> arches. Really? Well, hundred percent. So if you actually yeah. need a balloon yeah. arch, just let me know. I'd that say get. Let's say talk to her. I thought it would be nice too. That was definitely. Yeah, like we, don't make one in five minutes. Like, well, seven, yeah, yeah, you can get like a like, backdrop to put Santa in front of. So you could do I a like, backdrop with the arch over the backdrop, and then Santa in front of it. Yeah, just some. You know, just something yeah. for him to sit in front of. How much mm -hmm. is it? You said seven ninety nine. Jackson, that's not bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. I think he'd let us have that in the budget, right? <laughs> can we get generations for that day? Dollars and ninety nine cents, or seven hundred nine. $7. I don't know. I kind of want it, so I'll just order for myself and keep it because I'll use it. Seven, seven dollars. Like seven dollars. Oh, I do like that. I love that. Yeah, I yeah. I'm really bad at feet. Seven by five foot is that big? That's about what it was last year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot of room. Right in there, and then when you are. So we're looking at the eighth. At what time? Well, that's what we need to decide. The eighth or the ninth. So, yeah. so what time does ninth. Cecil's uh, breakfast get done? No, the ninth is a Monday. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're right. The eighth. Yeah. All right, so I'm just taking pictures as you talk. I take the pictures. Um, <laughs> all right, we've got a boss of uh, South Pretzels down there. Mm -hmm. that we should try to get rid of. They're in the freezer. I still have the freezer on. Okay. Um, and I've got, yeah, we did have pretzels down there. And then so are we going to want the popcorn machine down here for now? No, but actually, I mentioned either. Um, Kids can make a cookie, ice a cookie. Okay. From GFS Marketplace. Yeah. You can get the cookies already done and the frosting already done. Okay. You would just they have bags of popcorn, too, there. But I mean, the popcorn was a cute idea last year. It was messy. But it made a hell of a mess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, little ones, you know, they don't mean to, but they dropped their cup, and it's all it was all over the floor in here. And yeah, yeah. I talked the same thing. Yeah. You know, that, that was the packet. Right. Cool. Will the movie guy donate it? I was thinking about that, but I feel like I want to save him. Yeah. Or well, do like you think Eaton Park it. would Unless donate? You want to call them. Would Eaton Park donate their Christmas cookies to us? Oh. I can try. You have to ask at least right six to eight weeks ahead of time. I already asked, so, you... so we might need to have someone else do it because they have my name. <laughs> you need to go on the. You have to fill out like a ten-page thing. Yeah. But you could try. I can, can you ask find them. out what they what they expect? And I know it's hard to ask. Well, no, you just you just tell them what you want. Yeah. I need a hundred cookies, and that's what they did for me for Easter. Was it Because remember, we got cookies for Easter from. So I already they already asked this year, so I don't know what they're rolling around. But if you send someone else in, yeah. you went in or you just went online? No, I went online to have an account. Yeah, usually and it says one per. <coughs> you know, you can only ask. A lot of them say you can only ask once per year. Right. Was this? Was this? Can her to ask? Oh, yeah. No, it, it's not her. Not just say hey. I don't. They'll ask you. You need gift cards, mascots. Just say I need a hundred eaten park cookies. And then you just go pick them up. It's whatever time yeah. you want. And then they gave them to me. I had to. I bagged bagged them myself. 
I asked them for the bags because I'm extra. I wasn't just taking all the cookies. <laughs> I was like, can I have some bags? And I put 200 cookies. I was like, I've not had an Eaton Park cookie since. <laughs> <laughs> On that subject, um, I heard from Brent Dennis Presbyterian this morning. They would really like to do something. They realize that, you know, there's a limitation about what they can do. Um, so, you know, it could be possible that, you know, we ask them to man a cookie decoration station. Yeah, or a craft even. Like, yeah, or a craft. That, they do really well when they have, like, their own little thing, mm -hmm. you know. So but they want to do that. Like, didn't they want to do something religious? They wanted no, the they, they specifically want. said they realized they cannot. Okay. Yeah. So they're good with doing the cookies? Like, well, I mean, that's something we have to ask them. I have to find out what you all want me to even, you know. I would, if we could get to eat more cookies and then have them do a craft, then you don't have to run a craft because that's where you need hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? So if they can handle the kids opening whatever they're doing, that's self sufficient. And then. If we want to add in the cookie, we add in the cookie. Yeah, and like something like a craft, even if it's like an angel, it's not considered, you know, like pushing the nativity scene, you know? Right. So you know, like an ornament? Do ornament? Ornaments? Yeah. Yeah. That was a big thing last year with the tree, and they all get, they were lifting each other up, and we were taking pictures of it. It was nice. Yeah. They really yeah. like the ornaments. Yeah. So, Jack, what's, um, I know, you know, they had spoken to you previously too about doing something. What's your thoughts? Well, yeah, and I pointed, pointed them to, to you because I, I don't want to be, I mean, <clears throat> the two ladies that came down to that meeting, they had they had a mission, they, they, they had a goal to achieve. And Last year, you mean? Yeah. yeah. And, and I, I went to Deb and I said, you know what, I'm not trying to be difficult. You're about to throw but hands. I'm telling you. You can't throw stains on it. You just can't, not, not in a government uh, building like this. We need to be inclusive. She, under, she understood that, but they, they didn't. And I get, you know, when, when you're on fire, you want to preach Jesus, I get it. But this mm -hmm. is not, not the place for it. Yeah, exactly. we have to be diverse. And so have I, I pushed, it, pushed them to you, and I said, you know what? I don't want anybody to overreact or anything. I'm talking <coughs> to Wendy. She's more level-headed than I am. Instead of a movie, can you put the Yule log up? You know, like fireplace, the crackling fireplace. Put it up that always sets yeah. the scene. And well, they yeah, will be in here. She said yeah, so are we just going to eliminate this room then? Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. Yeah. I can put a laptop in there and put it up on the desktop. Put the yule log on. So we're not going to do the ornament? No, they'll do it in there, and then when they okay. come through, and they'll put the ornament on the tree, and then they'll visit Santa. So just eliminate this room is and what then Heather's building. They, they can get their crappy squat stool or whatever. Okay. Because mm -hmm. stacking all these chairs, and, and then, it was a pain. Yeah, put the tables up. And, and yeah, it was yeah, hard. Yeah, all the chairs hard. Yeah, and chairs yeah they love the ornament. It's a matter of doing too. Just being part of it. Yeah. yeah. I think we're that's a really good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 some didn't want to leave it. Right. Some didn't want to. And it would be, you know, for yeah. Just grab a mop and. Yeah. 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 It may be nice next year to have like a couple vendors like doing like crafts in here and sell twenty dollar tables in this spot and then do, you know, because I know people thought that event was this. Like, yeah. Well, hey, yeah. We're, we're getting vendors? messages. Can out. I be a vendor at your? Right. Yeah. Like, and we just are. be very selective on what we would do yeah. for those people. All right, what day is this again? The 8th. Sunday the 8th. Okay, here's Sunday? what she said. Is there some guidelines you can send me on what a church is allowed to do and not allowed to do? What do they want to do? And she, she says regarding a religious-based photo booth. If she wanted to have a backdrop of a nativity scene or something, mm -hmm. kids could stand in front of it. Didn't they want to do like a live nativity or something? Oh, yeah, Cannonsburg does that. Last year. And they could do that in their churchyard, right? Yeah, you well, can't. That, that, that's what I'm saying. They can do that up there. They can't do it in the front yeah, no. of the township. No. You know? Yeah. That is pretty cool at Cadensburg, though. Question, what time are we planning this Sunday? Well, I still need to know, like, can they do anything with a photo booth that has, you know, a lamb, a camp, you know, or absolute nothing, or I what? just think, like, it, could, it just needs to be holiday. Yeah. Not... Christmas. We have to call it, well, we're calling it simply Christmas. <laughs> I know. It's like kind of a, a we kind of mess up yeah. there. <laughs> it's like a fine line. I know what you're it trying is, to say. I, just, I do this at work. When I plan the work Christmas party, and we're not allowed to call it Christmas. It's because holiday, if there's a chance of offending anybody in Cecil, we'll hear about it. You know what I mean? Right. You, <laughs> have, to, you have to be mindful yeah. of what you call it. That's right. all. Well, we really don't want them to do a photo booth. We're having 
photographer. If we're having yeah. Santa, so let's say that is covered. We have a photo yeah, op. So we can yeah. do that. So let's like say you said, a cookie, a cookie can be an angel. It can be. Yeah, are you, you able know? to right. do some type of craft? Yeah. Do they want to provide the craft? The, the, uh, that you know, these are things I have right. to. Yeah, just but they want to do something religious. That sounds like. Yeah. Well, and, I mean, they know there's a limitation. And just so. say, hey, if you would like to present something, I could take it back to the board and we'll yeah. review, discuss it. Like, don't give them, like, free realm to be like, hey, let's do this. a better idea of exactly what hey, you're Hey, give me for. an overview of what you wanted to do for a kid's activity. Thing. Well, last year, they, they came into the front, yeah. and they were at the registration table, and they got to pick out their ornaments, and they went over to you for the hot chocolate. And so, it was like, they worked their way around. That's we good. could do it that... You know, I forget. They weren't really expensive, were they? Those ornaments last year no, that we, we did. No, we have a whole bunch of them. So I meant if they want to be the first stop to hand out the ornaments, you know what I mean, and then they can move on to whatever. I'll oh, say so it was nice because there was no, there was no glue involved. They they literally just took them apart and they stuck together. That's yeah. Cute. So there was no glue, no mess. No glitter. Yeah, none of that it stuff. It was perfect, really. <laughs> no, so what? Once again, what time are we doing this? Because I just looked, I just looked at my calendar. What time is it Sunday? We were just at the time because really it was going to be breakfast, and since we're not doing breakfast, like eleven to one. Or one That's what I was wondering if we want to start it when Cecil's breakfast is getting over, so then they could leave down there and come here. You know, if they wanted to. Like Santa, we just saw you. Yeah, how'd you get here? <laughs> are you doing? Are you doing theirs? Who? Cecil's. That's Saturday. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I was again? thinking it was the same day. Okay, so we're open to whatever line. time. We never get the fire truck. Because you skipped all us so we're not less fortunate kids. No. Yeah. Well, we did the Easter Bunny down there. They came up here and did the Easter Bunny up yeah. here. You were selected last year. No, I didn't, I didn't go with Fire Truck. That day's canceled Friday and Saturday. Yeah, it's Friday and Saturday. Yeah, they were back. They're back. The high school, I think, is Sunday. Public Works was what is the high school noon, doing? And they wanted me there. Kids' breakfast. You know, they actually wanted me there earlier. So I, I said, all right. So I left at quarter to like 12 and just went right in. So they picked me up here, and you know we, we zoomed down there, and you know that was a long day. And how I'm many sure. do we want to schedule for each half hour? Yeah, what's the max? Here? We didn't have that many. Like I honestly many. think at the max we maybe had a hundred people total. That's yeah. children and kids. So Two there's ten, ten, ten foot tables in there. I can make the goodie bags. Like there wasn't a whole lot. Right. That's something round to do. Round, yeah, yeah. Like but there's ten of them. So we figure. Hour. You can get 30 kids every half hour. I think that's reasonable. Starting at when, like 10 30, 11? Yeah, we do like a 10 and 10 30 and 11 or a little bit later. We call them a 10 on Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. 10 to what? Because, like, one ish, I got to roll. We do like a 10 to 10 30, 10 30 to 11, 11 to 11 30. That'd be so what time is the tea, tea room doing that thing? So 10 to 12 and we're done? Yeah, let me check. Okay, 10 to 12. What time the tea room is? We do three time slots. Yeah, we move in and out. Breakfast with Santa. They, they are. They're at eleven a.m. <laughs> Photo with Santa. Careful, delicious careful, food. Careful. <laughs> there they are. Jim Wendy is tight. I'm gonna smack you. So I'll make goodie bags and then I will get them to when. No, Wendy's not coming. But I will get them. To I'll bring them to the next meeting. Yeah. Because we'll have a meeting before this. What do we want in the goodie bags? Are they getting a goodie bag or we're not doing goodie well, bags? Well, you got the list I of I have what... 75 Rice Krispie treats. And so we need... 74. No, I already took that Oh, one. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you got Tootsie Pops. Yeah. Like you have a list of how many of everything was. So if we need to get a little bit more of something, let us know. We've got the drink... drink. Juice yeah, the juice boxes. Juice boxes you'll serve out there. Right, every. Yeah. Sure. Oh, so yeah. do you want to sell the pretzels, or what was your thought with the pretzels? I'll just, just get it, bake them, and get yeah, them. Yeah, just give them. Yeah. 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 I just don't want them sitting down there. I How many do you think we got, Jack? Uh, I got a case, so there's at least, I think there's, how many in the case? That's what I'm trying to think. My kids still that. talk about me making those they pretzels. They come in bags. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's about 20, 25, 25, right? 25, 25 in a bag. Don't. You want me to yeah. bring the, the pretzel warmer down here so that... Yeah. Can we make it over there in Generations? I don't see why not. In the microwave? There's an oven there, correct? Oh, yeah. Our kitchen over there. It's fine. That's how, we, that last, that's how we were making them in the oven. Yeah. They yeah. Were, in a microwave, if those pretzels taste like garbage, yeah, you got to bake them. Oh, they do. You got the air fryer, too, though. That was always... that. 
how I made them. Yeah, but you're only going to fit like one in that air fryer. In the concession stand. There's an air fryer. Wendy's air fryer. Yeah, but you're only going to fit like one or two at a time. Yeah. See, what I was thinking is we could, we could bring a couple of hangers with those. Uh, like once you make them, you just hang them there. If you right. want to, that's fine. Right, I mean, just throw them in that after you make them. All right. So we got to, i got to make sure there's a table for it or a uh, location that... You know, is it a big oven there. over here too, Jack? Yeah. Like oh, the one yeah. we have? So you need yeah, a sheet yeah. pan. Like, the, like we have in... Okay. Very similar. Then I would just get that metal, that big metal pan we have we use. And we had a couple of high school students helping us too. I mean, if there's any. Yeah, I have one girl that helped Bella, um, who can't do anything. I think her name was Tina, wanted to come back. She wanted, she gave me her number to call. That's her, great. So. Yeah, we need to. Sorry, I forget. 12. The help Let me see your pen. Time. Do you know how many dishwashers we have? How many yeah. ornaments we have? Do you want to, uh, since you're off on Thursday, do you okay, want to ornaments have you over at the concession stand on Thursday? Nicole, what's that? Since you're off on Thursday, you want to meet me at the concession stand sometime, and we'll get you the stuff that's in there. And oh yeah, I need uh, yeah. We have 81 ornaments, 148 Grinch cups, some wrapped with heart inside. Also have plenty of hearts. We have a bag of butter butterfingers. Yeah, give me all that stuff, and I'll yeah. throw it together. Yeah, the Grinch gate. You want 100 gift bags? Or is it? Or what are we maxing our? Or is it? We did 30, so that's. 60, that's 120 we have on here as far as allowing scheduling. Um, yes, how many goodie bags? When, does, does the, her numbers include the candy that's on the counter down there now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, could, well, can you just send someone down there? Oh, can you get that? Oh, no, we'll go down and get it. I was going to say, if you could bring it down here, I'll just stop down here yeah, I, if you're going to go down. We can, get, we can get it down there. I just want to make sure I'm getting But, I mean, do, we, do you want to bring all the juice boxes and everything down there, too? Because they're not, I mean... I was going to leave it in there to be cold and then bring mm -hmm. it down. True. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to make the goodie bags in advance since I won't be here. That's how I'm going to contribute. Uh, <clears throat> so I'll, I'll wrap them, tie them, and drop they them off. They don't have to be cold. They're, I mean, juice boxes? They're, they're Set them on the table the like this for all of them. Mm -hmm. I think there's, there's one unopened box, and I think. Uh, yeah, because they expire too, so you might as get rid of them. I mean, there's some some space in the refrigerators in there, right? We could. Oh, yeah, but we can't touch that until that's the day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Uh, do we have yeah. hot chocolate? We have hot chocolate in concession stand too, don't we? Yeah, we got to see how much of that is there too. Yeah. That's, I, mean, that's I think there's a there's a whole box, I believe. Mm -hmm. Well, to make that though, I mean. Yeah, how you do that? I mean, I have I yeah, have a pot that we had out here last year. Yeah, yeah we had that electric pot. Yeah, I have that in my office. We can use that. We just keep filling it up with mm -hmm. water. Yeah, I bought a box at uh, GFS last year. Mm -hmm. So I, that that's not a problem. I'm just I'm just trying to figure out what I need to bring down. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll pre-make them and bring them to the next meeting. So I'll just order. So how many do you want? Well, if we're going to allow for 120, even though we know there probably won't be. I mean, I don't want to not have enough. You right. know. Okay. So we have to, does anybody know where the ornaments things were ordered from? Weren't they from? Um, I think it was an Oriental Trader or something. Yeah, Oriental yeah. Trading. Um, so we need some. Do you want to get candy canes off of there too for the big man? You know, he needs to have something. Well, yeah. he'll hand out the gift bag. With the oh, the goodie bags. Too. Yeah. Okay. But we could throw a candy cane or something. Yeah, you have to have a candy cane. We need cane a candy because we have Halloween candy. We need to yeah, you have to have a little. Yeah. Okay. I got to get rid of this. Okay. Well, oh. Charity want me to send in? Barb's. <laughs> Barb's bench. Yeah, Barb's bench. Ben. Barb's bench. <laughs> it's going to be retired. Just for it. It's going to be it's in the Smithsonian. The Smithsonian. I break, I break for it. No, but when, once you sit on it, it's going to have a weight uh, limit. Gifts. <laughs> oh. I have to see. Well, no, because it's barely hanging on now. Like, the whole well, thing's. And we have the 56 bucks. Yes. And there's probably at least 25 things down there, if not more. So Decorative. picking up a few things at Dollar Tree <laughs> won't be a big deal. If you want them wrapped, though, we would have to yeah. wrap them. Yeah, I think about hanging off for five years. So we might have to wrap them at the meeting or something. Jack said he would help me, too. Oh, Jack's going to wrap. <laughs> We're also going to have them. gifts to give the kids. We're going to do inventory of what's in the concession stand and give out. We have 56 books and then whatever games. So the kids are going to get a goodie bag and a game. Awesome. And yeah. a toy. And you said you'd help me wrap if. And I you're wrapping, so. apparently. I remember that. <laughs> so maybe we don't have to, Santa doesn't have to get the goodie bag maybe on the way out or where do you want to give the goodie I gave candy canes as they left as they left maybe they get a goodie bag 
So last year, Santa handed out the and they, and the, But they're going to get a toy now this year. Yeah. And so they do but both. one thing we're going to have to do with those things, though, is like we're going to have to have a box where it's like if the kid is By like age. from age two to six, right. they get out of this box. So, yep. you, you know, that's going to have to be. So that will have to be something people will. And Elf will have to be. As long as you don't lose the stickers, we'll be fine. Yeah. There you go. But I'll lose them again. <laughs> be the elf. Huh? I would have if I was here. Uh, don't say it. I know what you're thinking. Don't say it. Leprechaun. Not me. Who are you thinking? No. Oh, no. Who am I thinking? Your buddy. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. All right. We'll wait till next. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Teacher Chong. Chong. <laughs> you're all for the elf. Yeah. Oh, 100. But then you got to ride him home. <laughs> Wendy, that's your job. You make sure you get that lined up. Text you got your elf. You got a costume? Sean. <laughs> Can you get an elf, like, t-shirt? You can figure that like out. A that's a t-shirt. Like, an elf one. All you, buddy. <coughs> okay. If he reaches <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, if he reaches worry, he out, does. that is the task that needs filled, just so you know. Okay. Anything you else? You can put them on a jacket and be like, yes, hey. And then you said the dates of the potential things, and we'll do that the next meeting. Yeah. Oh, um, and Jack uh, did message me back on the um, fishing derby because I actually gone online to try and figure uh, out like what their stocking schedule is going to be this year, and they don't have it posted yet. Yeah. Yeah, so see. Jack said we should figure on going with May third for the fishing derby. It's always been better when it was in May. Yeah. I had my choice, you know, end of April or first of May because they they will have stocked it twice by then. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we're going to come in and stock it. Then they're going to stop at one That's the same. See, we have water. That's the first one. Yeah. But for getting ahead of yourself, because you also, I think, you need to worry about look about changing the dates of touch and touch. We already yeah, did. Already said, no did you look at the schedule? Weekend. No, I haven't. Remember, I'm leaving. Yeah. You well, fired me, so why do I Oh, and about? Jack on the list. Yeah. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm that's kidding. right. I didn't send it to you since you weren't going to be here. Jack, a fishing oh, rod No, I office. didn't send it to you. I didn't want to put pressure on you. Oh, did be. I didn't understand you. Yes, somebody was giving away a brand new fishing rod, and I was like, I'll take it for a prize. Okay. They didn't drop it off. I, I grabbed it. it. Okay. So it's yeah, that's why. Right. So put it wherever you I want. I didn't want to put pressure on you. Um, did you. Did you pull it up? Yeah, this, is a, this is a prize one. I did a show, Okay. You mean the one? No, Wendy, I'll no. still help out, but I didn't know what time the dates are, Wendy. Yeah. yeah. I'll send it to I you. i got to see the schedule. We're going to hit the schedule. I'm yeah. going to get my calendar made for next year. Yeah, because i got to start... Uh, the fishing area, I started flying. That was my favorite event. I, I love oh, that. Oh, yeah, it's fun. That was so fun. I'll tell you what, I'll bring your dad back. Are we done? Oh, he's coming. Yeah, he'll be here. I mean, he, is, he is invaluable. Yeah, yeah. He, he lives for that. <laughs> Wendy, before we get off there, filter, are, we, are we done? What do you want to know? Yeah. What do you, I said I'm just saying, I don't want to say something in the video. Okay, um, so meeting adjourned at. Seven Who can see the clock? 754. 753. <laughs> Amen. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Hey, what is the uh, what do you want to know? Like What's a place in Brisbane?